Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to do um, a really natural wood grain look with using the acrylic pour. Um, so I'm just going to show you my paints first. So this is the canvas I'm going to be using. It is actually 16 by 40, I believe. It's pretty big. Um, I'm just going to do the wood grain look on the whole thing. It's going to look like a, like a board. So these are my paints. Um, I don't even know what this color is. Ross Cyena, some, I don't know how to say that. Uh, medium yellow and um, crimson red, yes. And I use these colors to mix all these. So this is black, just regular black. I made these browns from, uh, from these, the red, um, yellow, and this yellowy brown color. Um, and black. There's I didn't use any um, pre-mixed brown because I don't like the look it gives. It's kind of like it has a blue in it actually and it just doesn't look natural. So I've made, um, you can see a really, really red one. This is just like, I call this, this is still reddish but it's a really nice brown. And this one has more yellow. It actually has, it kind of has a little bit of a green look I think but it's actually yellow. I'm saying actually a lot, I think. <laughs> this one is this, can't say it, but, and I mixed a tiny little bit of black in it, um, just to give lots of different shades. And this one is actually, say actually again, <laughs> the kind of the magic trick. It is a combination of dollar store orange and yellow. Um, I find dollar store paints, uh, they, they mix with the other ones really easy. And um, I kind of want that with this. So, and I've added some neon to make them more transparent so they end up picking up colors next to them or underneath. I'm gonna be doing a black base and then all the browns and then it looks bright and crazy right now but it'll end up turning into all different shades, like a lighter shade of brown that will blend perfectly, it's amazing. Um, I think that is all. I have them mixed with Elmer's um, glue, like glue wall, the extra strong. And I just pretty much mix one to one. I eyeball it one to one and then I add water until it's the consistency that I want. I do it a little thicker than I do the base coat. Um, yeah, so we'll get started. I'm going to take you through the whole thing. I'm just going to pause it when I need to, and I'm not going to cut out anything in this video because I want to, I want to give as much information as possible. Um, so I find with this, I'm going to pour as many rings as possible because you don't want too much side to side movement because you will ruin the look. So for this size, um, two, three, I'm actually going to do six to be safe. So I'm going to layer all my cups, that's six, that's six, and layer them all and I'm going to, uh, the color you put in first is the one that comes out last, but I'm going to alternate that, I'm going to have a different one in each one because I want, um, I want different stuff showing up to give it some variety, like these colors, there's, there's contrast but not as much contrast as you would normally would want with a ring pour but with this one you want them to be more natural and yeah it's just better to have different stuff showing up here and there <clears throat> i'm going to stay away from this bright one to put in first in any of them because i don't really want that to show up i want that to blend in with the other colors underneath so i'm just layering them how you normally would just put and the other colors will all be the same. It's just how I start it. And, uh, we'll just do looks like I'm gonna run out of this color really fast. I think I'll have this one to start. Now, I pour this one in between most of my layers. I'm 
not a whole lot but it's gonna make it a nice light color believe it or not <laughs> this is my I love this one this ends up giving it a really natural wood look Hopefully. Maybe it won't even work for me today. So I do mix them a bit thicker than I do my base coat. You can actually already see that mixing with the cup. So you don't really want to start or end with the bright orange. I don't want that to show up too much. I mean, a little bit would be nice contrast and it'd be fine. Um, if I should do a little more. I'm gonna save some paint just in case doesn't give me the coverage that I want and then I can and I have the option to add another ring if I need to if there's a corner that's not covered or something like that um the last one I did I actually poured it on an angle that I wanted the grains to go not perfectly straight <clears throat> and then the corners will be covered so I had to add more this one I'm just gonna go I don't know yet if I'm gonna go straight or or on angle. All right, so I'm going to pause and then and get these all out of the way. Okay, we're back. I just want to make sure that's actually recording. It is. 
So I'm just gonna cover this whole thing with black. I'm gonna cover the whole thing, but it between the rings some shows and it actually it just gives it a more natural look. And then some of that bright orange will pick pick up the black, black, brown, kind of whatever. It will create some nice shades. This is sitting on a spinner. <laughs> I'm not going to spin it today, but it is, uh, makes it a lot easier to get around it. Sure the edges are covered good. Okay. Pretty messy. Okay, get back. I just had to take off my my sweater, it was getting pretty warm. Looking for my torch. I strained my black because I was having so many chunks in it yesterday. There's a lot of bubbles. I don't want them popping up through my colors and making black polka dots everywhere, so I'm just gonna try to get most of them out. I think that's good. All right. You can see it already starting to mix. I think I'll start in the middle. Do I want a little pillow? Nah. Yes. Put a little bit of black. All my table space is used up right now, so I have nowhere to put anything. Mm -hmm. 
See how you're not really seeing much of that bright orange? It's already mixed. It's already mixing. different. Then but it end up being too much separation between these. In that case, I'll just pour more over. All right, so you don't want too much side to side, but we can do a little tiny bit. Most of the side to side movement you're gonna do while it's tipping. So we'll tip it forward. And if you needed to, move it a little bit to the side. I want to just go just till your middle is kind of off, almost off. And then you come straight back. I'm going to spin this around. Slightly on an angle, it's gonna kind of look more natural. But you could go straight. I don't think it would really. The thing is, you just have to tilt the straight forward back. See how that looks like boards? But 
I'm wondering if I should just leave it like this. So I was thinking I'd put more in between to like, did I just drop? Yeah, of course I did. I dropped the black spot there, but it kind of blends. It kind of looks like that, that wall, that, that wall board stuff. I'm gonna do, um, you could leave it like that. We'll put a little block here. I'm gonna fill in this spot. But I'm gonna put a couple more just to make it all one. thinking I I probably shouldn't have added that little bit of black before I poured that made it too much and that's when you get this separation if that's the look you're going for I mean I think this looks cool but I really want it to be one board so we're gonna add some more Nice thing about rings is you can always add more on top of the ones that are there. And they blend in pretty good. Uh, kind of fix. Well, most of it goes off anyway. It's a lot of wasted paint that the port was arranged for. So I don't need any side to side. I already have lots of coverage, so I'm just gonna go straight forward and straight back. I'm trying to follow the same the same direction. Normally, you'd, you'd tip it back towards yourself. And we'll just let these pour. Little side to side so they blend.
just trying to get some of these black spots. But I think that's going to be what it is. So, there you go. Should be getting a little closer. All right, so there you have it. There's a little bit of black bubbles popping up through, but it gives it more of a rustic look, I think. You could maybe try it with Oda Black Base. It's pretty good.